if he deserves the 22 years, you know, because, A, I don't know what state he's in and a bunch of other stuff like that, but, I mean, I think it was Oklahoma. I don't, I don't know what it's like o- over there, but he, they had enough evidence that he did try to do murder for hire. Yeah. You know what I mean? If he really would have gone through with it, you think? I mean, well, he had to have given the guy money, right? But at the same time, it's like, how stupid he's... I mean, even though how crazy he was, he did seem like in some way he was a little smart. Like, why all the stuff that he put out there, you know, publicly? Yeah, but and I mean, at the same time, you have, you have to think about this, though, is that he's making a lot of money. No matter what he tells you, he's making a lot of money. If you're spending yeah. that much money on tigers and, and, like, not necessarily employees, but you're getting this much money in tickets and stuff, you're making money. Yeah. And then yeah. on top of it, it seems like he's kind of on his own. Like, it's his world. He calls the shots. He does whatever he wants. Yeah. So at some point after a bit time build up, he probably could get to a point to where it says like they can't touch me. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like when you come, come to that level, like you think you're untouchable. Like you exactly. Like, Did you see when the tiger grabbed him though and well, started that dragging him? <laughs> that that shit was funny. <laughs> but that's crazy, but, yo. You know tiger is strong enough to like drag a grown man like effortlessly. You know yeah. what I mean? Like you don't really think about it like but that. In that's the crazy beginning. Stuff. In the beginning of the show, like, you seem like, I think he had good intentions. Like, probably to him, like, people say what they wanted, like, should animals be, you know, kept in zoos and stuff. But I think, like, he started off, he really had love for tigers. But I think he just went too far. He got money. He got the taste of it. You know, it's like... That's what I'm uh, saying. Money. Money. And then on top of Carol he Baskin, is threatening he his money. He got that ring on him. You know? Huh? Carol Baskin was threatening his money. Yeah. And that's, oh, but what about, those, what about those other tiger owners, though? They're, oh, the, the my tiger, God. Group, the, the Bogabon group? dude, and huh? the, <laughs> they're all crazy. The bog- <laughs> it, it's yeah, nuts. Know, right? The people that do this is nuts. Definitely changed my opinion, yeah. though, because before, like, literally before the show came out, I was like, I want a cheetah, yo. I want a tiger. Yeah. And I was, I was like, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, maybe, and I'll just stay with the dog. Maybe get another dog or something. What, what what do you think made the, the the tiger bite him? Do you think they actually put like sardines or something on his on his shoe? Like they were oh, saying. I have, I, I have no clue. I mean, that, that sounds right, but I don't I don't know why it would. Maybe it was just being a tiger, and it said, you know what? I don't like you today. Take yeah. the shoe. But bro, so many plot twists though. Like especially with Carol Baskin, like that was, all that of them, like it was, and she's doing the same shit. The same and exact then his thing. husbands are straight. Yeah. That bro, was... no, all of them. <laughs> None of them were gay. How crazy is that? I feel bad for the boy. And how about that dude that, that the Carol Baskin's first, uh, her husband, who just disappeared? Yeah. Like, crazy. It's, it's insane. And then the producer for his reality show, like everybody literally that they had on camera was yeah. a character. Yeah, yeah. No, like I said, Every- <laughs> everyone in that park, they were like misfits. It was insane, yeah. You know? Insane. Yeah. But no, yeah, cool. like how long they they've been filming that for years because even like some of the old footage it seemed like it was like professionally filmed. Yeah, uh, they definitely were filming for a while. They said it took over the course of five years. What up, James? Damn, that's crazy. That's uh, awesome. uh, did you watch it with the boys? Uh, they watched it separately. I watched it with Molly. And, like, it was crazy. Because it was all over Instagram. So I'm like, i got to watch this, you know? And every one of his sound bites is just... What it, about I, and you can see why he's a gold mine. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> what, did Prince? Prince, yeah, what, what did Molly said? think? What? What did Molly think? Oh, she loved it. Really? Yeah, she thought did it was really like it? To, to be honest, there's no way that... It, it, it. This is reality TV taken to the extreme. Yeah. This yeah. is the craziest thing that I think you could probably watch out there. Yeah. I don't, you can't make, you can't write a story like this. Like, this is crazy. No, you really couldn't. Like, no soap opera, nothing. Like <laughs> Insane. It, every turn is just something new. Well, you know, bro, like, if you like that, of course, like, everyone like, thought this was a crazy show, but I don't, I don't know if you saw it yet, but that other documentary I told you about before, Wild Wild Country. Yeah. It's pretty James kind of watching. It's the same thing. Yeah. It's it's the same same thing. Thing. Like, like I said, it's the same thing as the guy with the tiger cult. Like, yeah, yeah, it's no, cult. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy yeah. though, man. It's crazy. What are you guys doing? So it's like we're on lockdown. What, what are we doing? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> bro, nothing much, bro. We're just staying in 
inside for the most and what's crazy like i don't know how it's out there but over here people are really like you any day like time of the day you look out the window like no one's in the streets like everyone is really staying inside but because in norway like i told you it got really bad here like yeah like two weeks ago it was like in the world Nor norway was number three out of the country like where it was spread wow. That's crazy. But, yeah, like, so but you guys are also <laughs> taking it seriously over there. I heard that Chris was telling me that it's getting better, like it's starting to go down, and you guys may be out uh, soon. I don't think it's gonna be out soon, but no. really? soon. they, ex yeah. you know, they were shutting down like everything, like hairdressers, restaurants, certain shopping stores, malls. shopping malls. Everything is shut down, but certain stores are like ghost grocery stores and stuff like that is is, is open. But and they said it's gonna be for like until the 13th april 13th but i'm pretty sure they're gonna extend for like uh, maybe yeah you know, see, that's shorter than ours because like out here we're so big at least in la yeah. there has been no traffic like it is the it can be five o'clock during the week and you everybody's doing 80. Well, it's, I saw a picture it's so nice of, uh, the but everybody's still out doing stuff yeah. you know so it's not yeah. it, like they are still expecting the spread i think to get bigger out here but so do you see like so like when you go on the freeway, are there a lot of cars? Nope. Like I'm offended now, and there's a lot of cars. Like go yeah. home. <laughs> you're not supposed to be out. What? Like I don't know what you're doing. You know, but it's it's really crazy. Yeah. But what's weird is like you don't see a lot of people in the street, but when I go to the grocery store, a bunch of people is crowded. Mm -hmm. I waited in two lines at Costco. Got rained on. Oh shit! They don't get no toilet paper. Is uh James and Jonathan working? Nope. Of course, wait, Macy's and Ralph's, right? Or, yeah. Well, they're all, uh, yeah, they're all shut down now. I mean, Ralph's is still open, but yeah. Or probably like less, but no, like the grocery stores are busy though. They're doing very well right now. They're doing very well. Yeah, I mean, doing very well. well. At least something. Cool, because I've seen like I, I, when, the, when it kind of first started happening, like it was hard to get a, on top of it because people were just scrambling and trying to get stuff, you know? But I've yeah. seen the people at like our Costco, how they they got on top of it pretty quickly and they started organizing and making like mazes or lanes to keep people distance. And it's, yeah. it's cool to see people being creative on finding ways to stop it. You know what I mean? Or at least to try and minimize the spread. Yeah. How much are you going out at all? Or yeah. like, what are you doing? What are you doing these days? What do, what do I usually do? That was the question. Yeah. Yes. I went on a motorcycle <laughs> ride uh, last week. Well, and... yeah. I've been that much of a there's nobody on the roads. There's nobody on the roads. It's social distancing. I have my helmet on. Stay away. You know what I mean? Gloves. But doesn't it look good though? Like uh, being on the bike when it's like not a lot of cars. Oh, it's street. fantastic. Molly came too, and it was a long ride. Yeah, we did 350 miles in a day. We went up oh. to Solvang, which is that little Danish city, I think. Yeah. And that was crazy. <laughs> Because, like, there was nobody there. That was a legitimate ghost town. So we were just around there, you know, taking photos, walking the streets. Then yeah. we came back, and that was, you know, that was it. It was pretty nice. You know, but the, I remember the first weekend they declared shutdown. I went motorcycle riding. Um, so many people were at the beach. So many people were hiking and stuff. And it was, and they were not far away. You I'm know, sure like, like, everybody was, like, there, close right? together. Well, no, they shut it down. The, the mayor was pissed. It because was. there were so many people at the beach that it just didn't make sense. It's not like go out and take a walk. They were literally like next Crowded. to each other. Yes. Yeah. And wow. so they shut down the beach park. And I think the only people that can walk around there is if the people who live there. Mm. Shit. But, you know, so, I've been eating my oranges. So the oranges are not popping in the back right now. What's that? I said for you, it's not much of a difference. Um, I mean, the... I wouldn't say because I usually don't go out though. You know, like big crowds have never been my thing. Though. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I understand. I mean, the grocery store is difficult. You know, I'm going out with my gloves and stuff, and then you wear gloves. Yeah, you wear yeah. gloves. One of the things is nasty. What <laughs> shopping carts? <laughs> you know, yeah, it's uh, what's it? Is uh, is Hilda still coming? Yep. Okay. Yep. Good. You know, but we, uh, I don't know if you saw, we started doing that Heal LA thing for the, the food. Yeah, because, I saw, like, I saw them. A, a lot of people are buying up the extra food in the grocery, so grocery stores don't have extra. And the extra usually goes to the food banks, which gets donated to the people in the city. Yeah. But the food banks is not getting any of the extra because there is no extra. So now oh, they're running out of food, and we're trying to figure out how to fix that. And then I got lucky because I know a guy who knew a guy 
who knew the girl who runs this company, and they hooked us up. And what was it, really Fresh and cool. Lean? Fresh and Lean, yeah, dude. It's super nice. dope. So and nice. they, and they have a surprisingly, like, a lot of food, and they do this thing where they kind of, their excess, they donate to charity. And the way we're doing it right now is it's pretty dope. Damn, that's good. Are you going to keep doing that? Is that's that, like, the plan. I mean, at least for the time being, during the uh, lockdown, when there's a uh, demand for food and there's not necessarily a surplus anymore. Yeah. But so I think we have it scheduled for the next, I don't want to like, it's not official. So everybody watching this is not the actual number, but I, I believe it's like eight weeks that we're doing it for. Oh, okay. So where do, you go, do, you, do you drive to certain areas? Do you like, how do you let people know? So what happens is we we're getting the food delivered to a, one of our board members church. He's the pastor at this church. And they, I think once every once or one, once a month they do like a food handout but because like we need to get more food out there and people need food we are doing this every day monday through friday now so we have like pre-packaged bags with i think four meals for per family and some other we're trying to get more things put into the uh into the bags but last on our trial day which was last what is it what, what, what's in the, what, what type of food is it um so it's, like, really cool, so it's, it's meals ready to eat. I would say it's more of a lunch and dinner type of thing. They're not really, from what I've seen, they're not really breakfast. They're all yeah. gluten free. Okay. Um, I don't think any of them are vegan, to be honest. No, okay. But I think one of them is vegetarian. I know they have keto and paleo friendly uh, meals, and basically it just comes in a tray. And I don't, I think you microwave it or oven it, and. It's ready to go. And it's really good stuff. Like, we're talking salmon with rice, you know. Like, they, they pay, it's for athletes. So, they're really oh. Uh, oh, nice. based around pro, pro, uh, proportions and, like, nutritional stuff. Oh, good. So, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Nice. That's it. Yeah. And then, you know, I'm working on this website, trying to make it look purdy and all, but. Oh, for Heal LA or for this, this thing? For Heal LA. For Heal LA. Yeah. We got to get our website live, you know. So, yeah. Hopefully that's coming soon. I am. Oh, nice. Yeah. Chris, Chris made a couple of websites. Yeah, he did mine for King Sun. It was great. I've been talking to him about it because we're still trying to finish the, the video. Yeah. But, um, yeah, dude, it's crazy. It's crazy how something like this could happen. But, yeah. you know, I mean, I feel like the, the air has gotten a little bit cleaner. I don't know what it looks like. I mean, you guys are better with your air pollution yeah. stuff than we are. Bro, look, yeah, but bro, the whole world, though, like, I didn't even think about recently, I feel like, like, pollution like how much less like the whole world like yeah it, this is i mean there's there's a lot of positive externalities that are kind of coming out from it you know and i think I'm just hoping there's a way we can realize that we can take the yeah. good from this and get rid of the bad type of stuff you know because yeah. i feel like i can breathe better out here that air, it's, it's insane least, for earth for mother nature this is definitely a good thing getting yeah. a break from human beings uh. Yeah, but it's crazy. I, I wonder how long, like, the shutdown is going to be, like, for flights and stuff going into... Well, that's the weird thing is, I mean, at least here, they're not shut down. No, no, no. If you're not from, like, you can't fly into the U.S. unless you're in the U.S. Yeah, you're talking, like, you are you don't fly from one place to another. Ooh, spooky. Oh. <laughs> 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 Ooh. But I'm saying, like, you can still fly. Like, I'm pretty sure we can catch a flight to Vegas right now. Yeah. Oh, really? I think so. I think domestic flights within the states are still yeah, flying. domestic, but like I, I can't fly in right now. No, yeah, yeah. Like I wonder how long that's going to be, because that can't be for too long. Because that's no. To be happen. honest, it should be. No, that's it should. Like one that's of the worst places that's, to be breathing in that stuff. I think that was a great decision, but when it comes to like, like that has to affect business. So like, like so much. Yeah. See, but the airplane. I'm not worried about the airline industry. You know, because they're usually backed by governments and stuff like this, and they'll they're gonna take a hit, but they'll recover. I would be more worried about like the mom and pop stores, the the ones that really suck are like the restaurants that just. Well, up, like, like family, I've got a lot of local restaurants, yeah, that I like to go to, and they're family run. You know, I mean, yeah. thankfully that some of them have delivery, but they can't pay the bills. You know, if they're not making money. Yeah. So it sucks. I mean, it's it's definitely gonna be interesting to see how this affects us long term. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I was uh I, I was telling you did I tell you I spoke to AJ. How's AJ? How's he doing? AJ, oh he, he he's been a little sick. Is he? That's unfortunate, yeah. dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna tell you like yeah he's been, but he's better now. But <laughs> he was telling me that like 
how it's um how the thing is because he said that he had it for over a month that he was uh, sick. Come on, at first he told me he was sick, and then later he told me, and I told him I'm like, I texted him the week after, and I said you probably had that, and he's like, oh definitely. <laughs> he didn't want to tell me at first, <laughs> but a week later he said, oh definitely, I had it, and. Um, and I've been a little sick too, you know. And I was telling him like we had some of the things were kind of similar, even though I thought my thing was the stomach that thing that I've been, you know, having. But he said that it can be like as of now, there's no way to kill it, so it can be like dormant in your body, and, yeah. it, can, and it can reactivate. But it can be like mild symptoms, and they don't know how to kill it yet. And he also said that women are the ones that spread it faster; they're really ones that carry it the most. I was and, told it was guys. Huh? Like my age, I thought it was. To- I thought it was men like my age. No, no, that's what I was told. No, he's saying the ones who carry who spread it faster is women. Uh, women are also able to cope with it better. He said, like the rate compared to like not just of who's gotten the symptoms, but who has like died from it or who has been like you know gotten like critically ill, mm-hmm. is mostly men. That women can handle it better. Yeah, I heard that. I did hear that. <clears throat> but like personally, for me, is like. I I I know a couple a few people who've gotten sick, not with coronavirus, but they've just got a little cold. The they biggest know thing what, is like, they don't know what, what that is though. They don't know, but they share symptoms. a lot of they share a lot of the similar symptoms and they go yes. to the hospital and the hospital's like, We don't want to test you, you're gonna recover, it'll be fine, type of thing. But I think it's important not to panic or to freak out because panicking and freaking yeah. yourself out can lower your immune system. And make it work. Oh, you know, we're talking about a new cold that nobody really knows how to address, but your body still probably has the capabilities. You know, God willing, if you're in uh, somewhat healthy shape, you should be able to combat it. But, yeah, but fear, you know, like you got, fear, you got, fear like, is a problem, you know? But I mean, it can keep you safe because it keeps people indoors, but you don't mm-hmm. want it to let it affect you indoors. You know what I mean? Because fear is like, that'll that'll ruin your immune system. And then you'll really get sick. Yeah, bro, I stopped. You know, I was telling, because uh, I was out and I sent Chris a snap or something, and he saw it. I was out like taking a walk, and there was a bunch of people. A bunch of people. He's like, "Hey, man, be careful out there. It's very blah blah blah." And I told him like, I forget what I said. I'm like, "Fear is uh, your immune uh, immune system's worst enemy." And then he writes me back, "Paranoia saves lives," and I agree with that. Like, I you know, <laughs> he had a point right there. But the first week, but there's a limit. Reading, I never. Yeah. Shit. You were reading the news? But I was reading the news so much. And after, like, last week, like, it's been, like, a week. I haven't, like, gone on any websites, no news. I yeah. watch TV, nothing. Because you, you get enough from just being on social media. And actually going on news, mm-hmm. news like, website, is just, you know, it scares the shit out of you. And there's never good news. Nothing good, bro. It's always bad. Yeah, it's, it's nothing like, good. Well, and, you sucks. know, people, they read the numbers of, like, how many people are dying, how many people got it. But then if you look at the percentage of how many yeah. Die because well, it's your tagline that sells. If they say we passed yeah. this number of people, it's like, wow, that's crazy, you know? Yeah, but I heard it's like the percentage that actually died from it is like 1%, which is very little. But yeah, when you just know how many have died, that's when you get scared. But if you look at it in the big picture, it's not, you know. But to um, be honest, though, this is the problem with this type of conversation because you got to remember we're live is that people yeah. are being affected by this. And yeah, exactly. Might take on somebody, you know, due to complications yeah. from it. So it is a real virus, and I don't think it should be. Uh, down, down it, yeah, I don't. Th- I don't think it should be made light of, you know. But I also yeah. don't. I don't want to add to the panic personally, you yeah. know. And that's something that's been important for me. Is that who is who just added me? Hmm? I don't know. I have my. I'm playing Maybe Forza. Like Forza. So, like, I've been riding my bike and playing Forza and, like, just getting oh, really? my driving skills down, yo. And, like, it's so cool. Nice. I'm telling you, I, I've been loving the freeways. The freeways have been awesome. If you're not from L.A., you don't know, but there's a lot of traffic. It's, it's horrible. It can be any time of the day there's traffic. And Bro, now, there's no one there. Oh, the 405. And I don't know if that was an old picture or not, but there was, well, I didn't see one car on the street. I'm like, this Everybody is- on the 405 is now doing 80, 90. And that's another thing I love about L.A., Okay, is, like, nobody follows the speed limit, yo. Oh, yeah, yeah. So wow. there's nobody on the roads. So like, we can all go as fast as we want. So nobody can get pulled over because everybody is doing 85, 90 miles an hour. Wow. And I get, I promise you, anywhere you want to go right now, 30 minutes. Don't even look at the map. 30 minutes. Wow. Do you yeah. need to go somewhere else? 30 Very minutes. Nice. Yeah. Country roads. Been having that song. Yeah. We've been singing that song over here, you know, Country Roads. No, what's that? 
uh, by John Denver. It's a pretty good song, man. Maybe when I, wait, wait, what, what about Joe Exotic? What do you think about his music? What's up? Joe Exotic. What about his music videos? Oh my God, that Bro. was so funny. That you, was so I, funny. I, I don't know if it's true, but I heard that the songs, that it's not him singing on any of the songs. It doesn't sound like it, to be honest. No. Yeah. There's no way he can make But the, the one where he's like, I saw a tiger <laughs> and the tiger saw a man. <laughs> Bro, the worst one is the one with, what's her name, Carol Baskin, when this girl's portraying her. And she looked just the... like her. I was so oh, confused. Bro. I was like, did he get no, her wait, to be in like, yo. I'm not following the story right now because, is the, why, are they friends now? Like, did they finally, like, you know. <laughs> open up like, this video? Yeah, like, 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 that makes no sense. Yeah. No, bro, but you should watch, uh, if you enjoy that, you and Molly should watch Wild Wild Country. It's pretty crazy, bro. Yeah. I've been watching Dirty Money. That's something crazy, yo. It's about, like, money scams and stuff. And I've only watched, like, two episodes. But you got to watch the uh, the Volkswagen one. It's the first one. It's about the Volkswagen diesel hey, scam. Here, Kitty Kitty. Is that the name of the song? That's the name of the song with the <laughs> the, uh, the head and feeding the lion. Yeah. But, but yeah, Dirty uh, what's that? Is that a docuseries? It's a, it's a docuseries, but each episode has nothing to do with the other episode. So I first heard about this in one of my business classes at LMU, and they were talking about HSBC and how they didn't have an ethical code of conduct um, built into their company. So it allowed like drug dealers and cartels and money launderers to basically use their banks to clean dirty money. And they knew about it. So that's how I knew about the show. But I watched the first episode, which is about uh, the Volkswagen diesel scandal, you know, where they were like putting a cheat, def uh, a defeat device on nice. the cars to make the basically they said that all their diesel cars were so clean but they what they did was they put a special device on it to say that it was clean when in actuality it wasn't and then like the documentary shows a whole bunch of stuff where like in a preschool down the street or something like this the the nitra the nitrous oxide levels which is very toxic and can kill people was like 30 times higher than what it was allowed to be in a preschool so the uh Basically, it was it, it was a, it was a crazy documentary, and like they have different scams. But the reason why this one was funny is you can see like corporate Volkswagen, mm. like strong, tough German dudes, and the way they answered questions was so funny. And like they, it, it, you could, they definitely did it. They they were guilty. Oh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, yo. And then they explain like why uh, Volkswagen and other people like uh, Mercedes. And BMW, I think, why they were allowed to do this defeat device because they're uh, nationally owned car companies. I think same thing with uh, American car companies as well. Yeah. Wow. But yeah, it was. Um, there's some. Those are some good shows to watch. I definitely recommend that. You know. Yeah, I'm trying to find some nails, like especially now that's what Tiger King. Like, have you uh, seen Drive to Survive? Huh? Drive to Survive. No. What's that? Uh, Formula One. I don't watch Formula One. I love cars, obviously, but. I don't, and it makes me want to watch Formula One. It's really well shot, and it's like it's pretty cool. Is it Netflix? Yep. Oh, I seen. You know what? I watched it all the other day, and I haven't seen it since like four or five years ago. Casino. Oh, the movie. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good. Hey, movie. I've seen that since I was little. That's a, yeah. That's, no. Like that's a crazy movie. movie. That's a crazy. It's three hours long. Oh really? Yep. Yeah. Insane. But that was a really good movie. That was a really good movie. I was trying to think about it. There's another docu-series where every episode is different, which is called uh, Drug Lords. Yeah, that one's good. You ever seen it? Yeah, that one's good. That's crazy. Uh, what, what about that that lady, that, 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 that lady, young girl from L.A.? Yeah. <laughs> she was a badass. Crazy, yo. They have some it, really crazy people. It, and isn't it crazy that, did you see how they lived, they were neighbors, they lived in uh, Encino? Yeah, <laughs> very close to the neighborhood's house. I was like, I know that place. Yeah, I was like, oh, I know that neighborhood. <laughs> That's crazy. Crazy man, crazy. Oh, but shit. yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think about what else. Oh, I showed the boys Pan's Labyrinth and Devil's Backbone, yeah. the Guillermo del Toro movie. Yeah. Oh, don't fuck with cats. Yeah. yeah, I saw that. That was really crazy. That was, that was that was disturbing. Really like, but I, that, I, the reason why that was crazy to me is that people dedicated their time to like finding this guy in another world. Like, that's valiant and power to them because they, I don't, they stopped the serial killer. I guess he did end up killing someone, but yeah. like, 
that's a lot of detective work and you're not a detective, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, the guy's like, the question is, is like the guy, he, he got an audience, you know, all he wanted, yeah. wanted was attention. So like, would he have done that? But at the same time, if you're capable of doing something like that, that's in you, like probably, yeah. you know. He's just, oh, and there's another good show, I Am a Killer. I saw two episodes of that. that yeah, was also- that's... That's Mr. really crazy. I saw the episode with this girl who was. Uh, she strangled the dude, and he yeah. said that he wanted him to do it. Yeah, and, and the whole time, was the episode. till the end, I actually thought that she was telling the truth, like that he asked for that. But no, like she was crazy. Yeah, and she. There, it was. It was. It was. Man, crazy. Choked him with bare hands. She must have been strong as fuck. And they gave her. Army Fern- or Marine, I think she have was. Have you seen that one, Gabriel Fernandez? No, it's not. Oh, Aaron Hernandez. Aaron Hernandez. Yeah. No. Is that about the football player? No, it's a it's a boy called uh, his his name is Gabriel Fernandez, oh, and yeah. he got oh, killed. Oh, oh, I've seen the I've seen it, the, yeah. uh, the promo for it, but I haven't watched it. Well, you should see it though. Because, yeah, you should see it though because you see how the government it just set up wrong. Everything is just a system that doesn't work for oh, kids yeah. who is being abused. Yeah. It's a good movie. You should watch. Uh, I have to take a look at it then. I didn't no, know about that. To be honest. It's a Yeah, I don't want to watch that. That's too much. Like. Yeah, sometimes you know you you gotta try it. Like I watched Family Guy last night. You know, lighten the mood a little bit. Make it make it happen. Yeah. 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 Trying to get the new Rick and Morty. I was looking at Fifth Family. I was trying to look at some because uh, I was trying to find some good comedies. Like yeah, I, I wish we could watch we could continue positive. to do it. You know, people were asking us to continue to do it, but like. Todd has a newborn baby, and then TJ has all his kids with BG. Like, it's just not really worth the risk of bringing yeah. people together, you know? And it's hard for us to do a... We could do an Instagram. Oh, but BG doesn't have Instagram. Yeah. Or, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we don't film it live. But I know, dude. I wish we could bring it back. Because I also miss, like, going up there and seeing BG yeah. and just talking about the movies and stuff. I play zombies yeah. with him. So we've been yeah. playing, like, a lot at night and just talking oh, about yeah. cool stuff. But... Yeah. Good. Uh, Somebody said, "Don't watch Gabriel documentary. It's so dark and sad." Thanks for the heads up. I'll watch it a little later. <laughs> no, actually, like, don't fuck with cats. Like, I actually regret almost regret. Like, I shouldn't have watched that. That like it had me disturbed for a couple. Oh uh, no! No, that was that was. Have you seen what like James watches? Mm-hmm. Oh my god, that. I promise you, I think I have act- I have seen real trauma because of what James watches, and he just sits there watching. And I'm like, I don't, I like, you know, like, I used to think I have a strong stomach, you know, I could handle some pretty crazy stuff. Yeah, I, I have been pushed past my limit multiple times. Like, what, what is it? Like, I, I, I don't even, I can't even talk oh, about what oh, it is. Okay, it's okay, just okay. Those are those gory stuff. Okay, like, it's, it, it, it's one of those things where you see a video. And you just sit there for like two minutes staring off into space afterwards. It's like, what, what did I just watch? You know, it's, it's, it's haunting. Yeah, certain things. But it's like faces of death. That's the best way I can describe it. It's oh, like shit. that, but way oh, yeah. worse. Oh, hell yeah, no. Way worse. <clears throat> hell no. Uh, yeah, our, our, of course, theaters are shut down, right? Yeah, and it's sad because they're saying that AMC may take a hit even after all this stuff is done because people are going to be paranoid about going to crowded places. But, you know, there's something cool about going to the movies, man. I miss it, actually. Because I was going, like, once every week because of the film family stuff. Yeah, exactly. And now it's like, you know, but it's cool that they're releasing them on uh, Apple TV and stuff. I don't, I haven't bought a movie or rented a movie. I don't know what it, what the process is like yet. But, and probably yeah. so many, so many movies that are. I would you know, love to go to a drive-in movie theater, but um, I don't think we have any in L.A., to be honest. I've only seen one ever, and it was in Utah. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I think so many movies that are like supposed to be in theater are probably going straight to what, like Netflix and. Well, that's the thing is a lot of them are going straight to either streaming services or straight to uh, Apple TV. But mm-hmm. the thing is about that is usually you get the money from the theaters, the box office, then you get the money from the streaming service that's or the Apple TV. There's a lot. So now they're losing a lot of that. So some movies are pushing their stuff back. Yeah. And like delaying the release, and others are just going straight there. I don't. I mean, it's interesting to think because you would think that right now the entertainment industry is going to be doing very well because people yeah. need content, they need entertainment. The entertainment, they stay at home, but they, because of the like restrictions, you can't have a film crew bigger than the size of ten. It was fifty, and then it was down to ten. 
So mm. now all the people like Facebook and all these like Netflix and Hulu, they're all demanding high amounts of content. But on yeah. the producers and the creators, it's logistically almost impossible to provide it. Wow. You know? And then the movies that were already in production are put on pause. Oh, so yeah. I don't know how that affects their budget. The movies that were already finished and now about to come out, it's like they don't, they can't be released properly. So exactly. their money is going to be a little messed up there. It's 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 going to be very interesting to see what you know yeah. what's affected there. Shit. Yeah, man. Even I think even for like artists, people say like you know you can earn money from streams and stuff, but artists earn most of the money from like doing shows, from performing. Yeah. Not, not from streams. Yeah. Yeah, you have to be pulling in crazy <clears throat> amounts of streams, but. Yeah. I mean, the, but the thing about music, though, is at least now, like, a lot of artists can be working in a studio because the, unless you're doing a live orchestra thing, you know, yeah. then yeah. most of the stuff is a small enough group that you can at least do that. Releases, yeah. I don't know what that looks like, but, yeah. you, I mean, again, you're making the distributor money, and it's hard for the individual to really bring it in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was thinking about that the other day, like, it should be a good time for musicians to, like, because people at home, they have time to listen to stuff, but at the same time... Like, you people discover a lot of music from, like, their friends, from being out at parties, from, you know, from, mm -hmm. like, being at clubs and stuff. So I think that is, like, also, like, a loss. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it's just, it's so interesting because, like, I was talking about this with um, a friend of mine, like, two or three months ago. And we were talking, you know, the market was doing really well. The economy is on the up and up. Like, yeah. stuff was looking solid, yo. And then I was like, and I was just saying, like, you know, there's got to be a time where it's going to come down and there's going to be something that's, like, unforeseen. And he was saying to me, he's like, the only thing that can really mess us up is if we get hit by, like, a curveball, like something out of nowhere where we just yeah. can't control it. And then, like, two weeks later, they put us on lockdown. Yeah. You know, and then the market starts going down. And then, like, even this, just people not going out as much is going to affect businesses. Mm -hmm. I'm interested to see how Amazon does there. Probably really good. I would think so as well. But at the same time, you know, like, they're also falling behind. Like, no, I was definitely on a shipment for, like, two yeah. weeks ago that I put. Oh, same here. I've I ordered some herbs and stuff. And it's like, already, I get messages every day, like, delay, delay, delay. Yeah, yep. Yeah. It has been. It has been. Yeah. And let me tell you, the the toilet paper situation is real. Like I wasn't taking it. Is that is it real, bro? Because I go to the grocery store over here, I see it full of toilet paper. That's I mean, what. That, that, yeah, that's over there. Okay. I, well, Americans are a little dramatic. I'm not panicking. I'm not freaking out about none of this stuff. I was like, people are just doing them. I go to get groceries. Okay, my regular grocery run. Yeah. At Costco, they have pallets, and what pallets are is those things that forklifts pick up and put yeah. down. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And that was a line of bottled water, toilet paper, paper towels. There's nothing there. Literally, not even the pallets. Shit. There's lines of people around it. And I'm like, I have no idea what's going on. They bring out like five paper towels. People lose their mind like you're feeding the tigers. They're all just running at it, trying to get to it. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not going in there. That's, too many people are way too close. Yeah. And we waited out like <laughs> two and a half hours to get toilet hey, paper. Did this not bro. get the toilet paper. Yeah. Jonathan just came home with a bag of toilet paper or a pack of toilet paper recently, and we were like, thank God. We have Kleenex, <laughs> yo. Okay? We have to buy some additional, like, alternatives. Damn, bro. You always have newspapers, you know? No, you know what I bought? Do you know what I bought? What? Industrial toilet seat covers. Oh. <laughs> I'm not kidding, yo. Okay? We haven't that used them. Enough. We haven't used them. No, no, no. I this, thought it was going to get that bad to where we couldn't get it. This, and, and it's the dumbest thing wait, to run out of. Wait, the stuff that you put on top of the toilet seat? Yes. Wow, okay. It's the dumbest thing to run out of, okay? That's like, rough, why rough, are we running out of this? Yeah. Um, my, yeah. <laughs> my social media limit's probably about to run out, so if I get kicked out, that's why. Oh, oh okay. But that was your uh, notification? Yeah, that's are, what that Are you saying less than two hours? Uh, no, come on now. We're in quarantine. What else am I supposed to do all day? And then on top of it, like my, my limit gets affected by WhatsApp because I have to communicate with everybody else and it, yeah. it drains my social, uh, limit, media limit, but you know, yeah, yeah. well, and everybody I know, here, like, I, I, there are some of my friends who are adults who are having their parents or their in-laws send them toilet paper from home. That was the funniest thing, okay? <laughs> I, was not expecting that. I didn't think it was real like that. I thought it was just like a thing people were like making memes out of. It's weird. And let me tell you something. The toilet paper went before the water went. 
Like you can still get water. It is. The, I don't know why we're running out of toilet paper. It is not even a necessity. Like you're going to die of dehydration or hunger before that. And then I'm leaving Costco and like I couldn't grab anything. So to be honest, I'm not gonna lie. I bought some white claws and I'm leaving yeah. and I'm sitting in line and the, there's a guy behind me. He's like, "You couldn't get no toilet paper either, huh?" And I'm like, "Nope." <laughs> and I look at his uh, cart. He's got two cartons of beer, like two big boxes of beer. And we're like, well, at least we're going to enjoy our quarantine. <laughs> you know? yeah. Yeah. Do you want to speak? Yeah, okay. oh, what is it, like 9, 10 over there? It is 9.45. Okay. Yeah. That's cool, man. That's cool. Mm, how's the dog? They're good, man. Kenya's uh, over here snoozing. Let me show you. For some reason, this is his new spot by the door. Uh -huh. And I think it's because he wants to, like, know when someone's leaving or coming and going or whatever. But the problem is when they're coming you're out of the house. house. Like, What's up? You're out of the house. So when, I think whenever you're out of the house, the yeah. place is, uh, So I think he's waiting to get his. Does he not know that you're inside the house? Right? Like, no, he just sits there. He, his hearing is gone. Like, he's the only. Only thing he does is food that's it and he farts like a lot it's so funny i've been getting him to almost fart on command if he eats and you rub his stomach afterwards he's gonna fart and it's gonna be like a like it's a really okay, i'm but... gonna start, start <laughs> filming it it's a crazy well, just let some it, it punctuates conversation we're, we're playing a lot of risk the game the board game risk yeah. and sometimes it'll get intense and we're just throwing the dice and we're throwing the dice and i'll let him know where you go <laughs> and then he goes <laughs> it's so funny yo. it's so funny and then OG, OG I think he's actually behind me where is he no I don't yeah is he, is he sitting all majestic on some chair right now probably I don't know where he is he's been moving around <clears throat> you know, but that's that's been it yeah it's been just, you know I think um, try not to get bored that's the that's the biggest thing yeah so, I've been playing games, you know, racing, Overwatch, zombies. But that's yeah, it. Are you playing board games too? Yeah, Risk. Let me show you our setup real quick. Yeah. You don't know what Risk is? Maybe. Maybe you Chris just got it for me for my birthday. And let me tell you, it was definitely one of the coolest fucking gifts, man. Like, we instantly started going crazy over this game. Let me uh, switch it up. Okay? So right now we have a game going of me, James, John, and Molly. And I'm the green, Molly's the orange, James is the yellow, and John is the blue. And the idea of it, each one of us has a secret objective that we have to do. And okay. we can't tell the other one what that objective is. So let's just say, for example, that James' mission is to eliminate John. If he does, or if somebody else eliminates John, James wins the game. Mm. But, but so if James' like mission all... is to own these two continents, he wins. And then you basically battle with these dice. So if you're on offense, you roll the the red dice. And if you're on defense, you roll the blue. And then basically the offense wins one because the five is higher than the three, but loses one because the two ties with the two. So it's like a number thing. And it like once you learn what the numbers mean, it, it's like you're watching a war. And, like, people are yelling and stuff, and we're just rolling the dice, and, like, you get attacked, and then Molly, like, she held a ridiculous invasion. I'm talking, like, 20, 30 against, like, 10. And then they all went. So it's like an ongoing game. Like, you play for a while. But now I'm back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was saying, that's a game you play for a while, right? Oh, yeah. Like, it's not a like days. a few days, for sure. What yeah. is this? Does this say Brent? Oh, nice. What's this? Oh, this bat. That's cool. Man, I like that. That's a cat. Hey. I did not hey, know. Do I have How'd you this? get that? You go up to, like, the little face thingy. Yeah, but what was that called? That, the, it's the first one on the right. I'm trying to see what these do. Oh, not yet. Knowing that never happens. Get out of here. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Isn't it cool? Oh, I like this one. <laughs> Fancy yeah. <laughs> Let's see, what else do I have here? 
I don't know what this does. Oh, it softens my skin. I hate when people take photos with this. You guys are lying. Every time you take a photo with this filter, you know, fake <laughs> makeup and stuff. You know, it's ridiculous. Well, oh, I, oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't have that one, bro. That one you had with the tag. Yeah, Kelsey's little heart. Ooh, ooh, bunny. Oh, this is this is my new face. That was dope. Sure. That, that's, a, that's a dope one. This is some Blair Witch Project stuff. You guys, yeah. stay five of the quarantine. Go hey, where's some good scary movies? Some horror oh, movies. Watch Hereditary, yo. You want to see a great movie? Watch Hereditary. Yeah. That's a horror I, movie? I'm not going to tell you it's like a, it's not an insidious type of scary movie, but it blows your mind, yo. Real And the acting in it, insane. What is this? Bit? What was it called? It, uh, Hereditary. Uh, is it really good? Or are, you, are you joking right now? No, I promise you, it's it's insane. It's one of the best like scary okay. movies I've ever seen. I don't even think I would consider it like a scary movie per se, but the ending is really mm -hmm. good enough that it would be a scary movie. Mm. And the oh. acting in it is just like it's crazy. It's crazy. I'm just switching through these as I'm talking. So yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to find some good ones too. It's fun. Uh, this is film. This is old time film. Are we even walking in slow motion? This is crazy. I'm gonna give you Oj. Oj, hi buddy. Hi. <laughs> you got a new collar? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I've been through all of them to be honest. Okay. I said you got a new collar. No, this is the funniest thing. So I took them to get groomed, and mm -hmm. this place put these on them for some reason, and then texted me a photo of it saying that the dogs are done, and they put them on OG and Kenya. And I don't know why they did that, but they're kind of funny because they look so funny together when they wear it. I'm going to wake them up. Hi, Kenya. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> Can't. He stinks so bad, dude. Every morning, it doesn't matter if I if I go to bed at like three in the morning. He's up. Oh, I forgot to still have this on. He's up at. Uh, let me turn it off. He's up at seven thirty. <laughs> no. He wants water. It's so annoying. Oh, you guys so, go on the the hike, the little trail at all? Nah, you can't go with Kenya. I guess but. it's too. Uh, I did take Kenya on it. He can do it every now and then, but we haven't really been going on walks. But um, yeah. there's a loop that I do. It's a mile loop for him. And it's only like one really bad incline, and that's it. But it's a good length for him, and it's a good length for OG, so it works. Mm. I take OG out in the backyard, and we throw the ball and stuff, you know? Yeah. So it's fun stuff. It's fun uh, stuff. Yeah, man. I might watch that movie you told me later. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's, it's definitely something weird. And you're going to watch it for a while, and you're going to be like, this, like, it's a bunch of weird stuff. You don't know what's going on, and all of a sudden, boom, something crazy happens, and you're like, changed. It changed. Oh. <laughs> hey, have you seen Oh, the, by the uh, way, huh? let me, uh, you should come back. You should come back when you get over here, you know, once this corona thing passes. Once I'm able to fly in. I'm, I'm not even going to open this up, because, like, I've, you know, been trying to prep for, uh, just in case we need, we, the grocery stores ain't open. So I got a lot of like protein bars and not a lot of like, you know, nutrition okay. stuff. But okay. this is some uh, vegan granola. Insane, but, yo. Oh, oh really? Smash. And it's Mario approved, just to let oh. you know. So that's oh. how you know it's healthy. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this, then this, right here, for good. this right here, vegan yeah. and gluten free. Wait, what is that? I don't know if it's Mario approved. It's chocolate brownies, bro. Really oh. good stuff. Really good stuff. And then these are like the best, okay? This is some type of like granola that you snack on. Again, Mario approved. These are super sweet. You actually can't even believe how sweet. He should have his own stamp, you know, like Mario approved. Like, he really should. He really should. Like, really like, should. When like, anybody tries to argue with me, like somebody tried to argue with me that, uh, that Mario's uh, food or whatever isn't healthy. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah. Mario takes everything to the nth degree. Trust me, he's, he's done his research. Yes, he, he definitely has. If he's talking about something, <laughs> he's done his research. You do not want to get into discussion about why or not. No, like, just okay. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I trust you with that. Exactly. That's, that's what I'm like. Yeah. But, yeah, man. So, I guess, that's, you know, it's been alive, guys. I uh, I tried to be prepared for our for this happening. You know, but 
<laughs> like I said, I just got a lot of granola. Yeah. <laughs> I know that has a lot of protein, and you'd be all right on that. And almond milk, by the way, this is the, this is why people are stupid. Fresh milk, uh, like cow milk, goes bad quickly. Almond yeah. milk doesn't. It, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So I've been stocking up, and everybody's buying almond milk or regular milk and eggs, and I'm like, what are you going to do with that? It's going to go. Yeah. It's, it's going to taste like like something horrible. Yeah, and with almond milk, like the thing with that, like you can stack up on it. You don't need to like put it in the nope. refrigerator unless it's open. Then you need to put it in the refrigerator. Exactly. Like that, you know, I have limited stuff. fridge space, but freezer space, I got all kinds of stuff. You know. Yeah. But I've been trying to eat a lot of. Uh, I've been trying to get delivery or takeout. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was about to say like because you don't cook a lot, like, but since you're not able to go to restaurants, but you take you take away, so you you're good yeah. But I mean, like, I have a lot of stuff here frozen that I've been like, I go, you know, I try to eat a little bit of it so it doesn't go bad, but I also try to eat out so like businesses ain't closing down because once this stuff is over and there's no restaurants open, then where am I gonna go to eat? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you, know, so you got to think forward. You got to think forward. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Cool stuff, man. Yeah. Don't know what's gonna happen now. Probably just gonna. I don't know, watch movies. What are you doing the rest of the day? At least you have a theater, bro. You can share the light. Yeah, I know. You know, I mean, I'm. Hey, look, I am not complaining. I am far from complaining. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm not even that bored, to be honest. Like, we yeah. got James and John and the pooches, and we've been doing some cool stuff. Riding my bike if I get bored. I haven't been stopped yet, so that's cool. Yeah. No, I'm good, too. Like, I'm not even. There might be moments where I'm like, I'll just sit down and share in the kitchen. I'm like, okay, what now? <laughs> you know, I'll sit there and the boys will walk in and it will be, I'll talk to them. And it was just like. But it's cool to do something you've never done before. You know what I mean? Like read a, read a book about something you didn't know about. Like yeah, exactly. I've been reading that book on the art of war, but uh, it also moved into the Tao Te Ching. And I actually had no idea what that stuff is, but it's a, I think it's like the, without being ignorant, this is my interpretation of the Tao yeah. Te Ching. That it's basically like the Tao's scripture, mm. and it's kind of like their. I think it's like what they their they lead their lifestyle through or Taoism. Mm -hmm. I can't say I agree with all of it, but it's giving me a cool perspective on this idea of not what's it called on the Tao Ching. Okay, well, what is that? Because I know Taoism, I've read a lot on that. Yeah, and so I, it's like the. I, I, like, I think it's like the Bible for Taoism, <clears throat> but I'm not sure because I don't know if Taoism is a religion. It may be more of a thought process. But this is the book right here. So it's the art of war. Let's, let's the, the, way, the way. What's up? Taoism. Like it's the way. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And, but like, so there's a stuff that I don't, you know what I mean? That I can't, like, I don't always agree with. Because like they have this thing where it's like, don't hang on. Don't even let love get involved. And like, it kind of eliminates a lot of the cool stuff about life yeah. to be yeah. completely <laughs> neutral. You yeah, know, but it's cool to see a new type of uh, new perspective. And I'm reading a bunch of stuff. And, mm -hmm. you know, just, The Art of War is a book that I actually think everybody should read. It's super short, yo. And it can oh, be yeah. applied to so many different things. Not all of it, because it's literally about, like, old school Chinese warfare. Yeah. Um, but a lot of the tactics would still apply, like, uh, to modern day warfare. But it doesn't. I'm saying it applies more than just warfare. It's like 45 pages, yo. I thought it was so oh. long. It's not. Oh, really? I it's thought, super I thought it was a easy to read. Book. So did I. And that's when I bought this book. I thought it was this book. But it's not this book. This It's this book and a bunch of other stuff. The Art of Good. War is in here twice, plus oh. the commentary. Oh, it's shit. so, you can, it, I Googled it just to see if I read the whole thing. It says it takes like an hour to read the whole thing. Oh, uh, what? It's <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds like a book for me. It might take me more than an hour, but. Yeah. I, I promise you, it read it. And then when you're reading it, you can kind of think about like, I have a commentary in there, and I didn't really like the commentary because it's that guy's interpretation. It's much better if you just read it and you interpret it yourself. Yeah. But it talks about, like, masking your uh, moves with deception to, like, confuse people. And then, and, like, I also apply it to the, the risk game, you know what I mean, where I'm trying to know my areas and know what's going on. It's, it's just – it's super cool. Nice. nice. I would recommend it. I would recommend it. it that's, a, that's an easy read. It's – and it could be so insightful. I want to read it again just to get it like ingrained in my head, you know? Yeah, I feel you. I've been reading a lot too, because that's stacked up in a lot of Oh, I haven't been reading a lot. I'm just saying that's what I was reading. But oh, <laughs> what have you been reading? <laughs> uh, I've been looking at like a lot of like uh, books on, you know, you know the type of stuff I read. Yeah, yeah. Nutrition, spiritual well-being, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, that type of stuff. But it's, it's good stuff. 
Actually, now I'm rereading a book, but I have like sometimes like I'll read one book and I don't want to like go to another one. But now I'm like going back and forth. Like, what do I feel like reading today? Because I have like I think I want to start the Law of Success, but I feel like it's such a big book that I can't get it. Because TJ gave me a copy, you know, and he said read it when you're older, and I feel like I'm not there yet. Yeah. You know okay. what I mean? yeah. So like I still have it, but like that's a big that's a big book. Yet. I know, and it seems like it's kind of a boring book, so I gotta yeah. like yeah, it's <laughs> time to sit down, you know. Yeah, I feel you. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, I'm about to actually. I'm gonna do an episode of Breaking Bad, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna watch Breaking Bad. Just like, oh, it's not. Somebody uh, said, "What's your Colonia?" Col- yeah, Colonia. Somebody said that. What's your favorite type of food? I love all types of food. Well, That's also and- another thing I love about LA. Let me tell you, I, I've learned this from kind of traveling other places. We have so much diversity and so many different types of food. When we were in Italy and I asked the guy like, what type of food it was, he looked at me like I was an idiot and said, it's Italian. Yeah, like, you yeah. guys don't have something else? And I realized they don't. Like, LA no, has everything. You could have Indian. Yeah. You could have Mediterranean. You could have Chinese, Japanese, whatever you want. It's so nice. That, actually, that first place we went to, in Italy, remember the, the, the day we arrived? It was like yeah. all Amer- it's like everything. But it was still like Italian touch to it. But I feel like they did have... Yeah, you know what I mean? And then even but in Japan, Japan has a greater variety of food within the Japanese culture. But yeah. even still, it was almost all Japanese food, yeah. you know? And, like, I've been out here. I'm, I like having a diverse diet, you know? Like, I have Mediterranean. I have Thai. I have pho. I, I like food. I don't like switching yeah. it up. Bro, I was struggling in Japan and Italy. Like, that. Yeah, oh, I like, bet. I bet. It was rough. Like, yeah. you know? Italy like, more so than Italy. Japan, though. Italy more so. Yeah, because all you could eat was the same stuff or cheese. Yeah, exactly. Bread, pasta, or cheese. That's it. Yeah, that was it. You know, the cappuccinos were nice though. Cappuccinos were nice, and the pasta was incredible. Oh, by the way, though, yeah, um, nice. <laughs> what was it? What's it called? Sun Cafe. They got a white truffle pizza that's better yeah. than Italy's pizza. I promise you, it's vegan too. It's what? so oh, good. Sun, yo. Sun Cafe. Sun Cafe. The one in Hollywood. Okay, I'll mess up something. Not Sun Life, Sun Cafe. Yeah, yeah. That, and that one has a vegan white truffle pizza. Oh. And Mario tried it with a gluten-free crust. Not as good. You need to have the gluten. Okay. The gluten yeah. makes yeah. a little something. Yeah. I don't know if I can do the gluten-free, bro. That's just, that's too much. Yeah, it, it is. It is. I mean, you know, I'm not, the vegan stuff is pretty cool, but there's, you know, I like my ice cream and my stuff. And, but yeah. been, I've been eating some really good vegan food, though, with Mario and Chris. Like, we've been killing it. Bro, that restaurant was called Elf. That was nuts. That was probably some of the best wings so I've ever had. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I didn't have that. I forget what I had. But yeah, when I go back, we got to hit up that spot again. This is uh, <laughs> my boy. Always on the lookout. All majestic. The threat to society. society. Like, I don't know why, but he hates the neighbor's kids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who loses his mind every time they're out? Like, I and I, I don't want to come out yelling at OG to shut up because I'm like, I don't want to scare the kid. But like... Sure. He's always losing his mind over them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Crazy. Remember when I walked in into that, that room the, the, and he was standing there like well, like this? I'm like, what did I say? Because <laughs> we had watched that movie. I forget what it was. Um, was I'm like, sir? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> what was that? I'm what movie soldier. was that? Soldier. Oh, soldier? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and if you're wondering, my dog is Kenya just turned 13 in November, and OG is gonna be three this year, I think. Three or four. He's still a baby. Well, not. Yeah, he is. Like, we got him when he was like a year kid. old, about two he's years kid, ago. Right? Yeah, yeah. So I think it's three. He's gonna turn three. Yeah. This month, actually. Yeah. You good boy, buddy. <laughs> yeah. So, what would you consider him? He's not a baby. He's a kid. And he's a, yeah, I mean, once he hits like three, that's pretty much, I think, their full grown size, you know? I would maybe like a teenager kind of for a dog, right? They're on the cusp of being an yeah. adult. Once he hits like five, then he'll probably slow down. Yeah. This is how he likes his rubs. Kenya's gotten so old, dude. Like, I tried to tell him to sit to give him a treat the other day. And yeah. it went from like trying to sit, he couldn't get his butt like all the way down. And uh-huh. he tried to sit, and as soon as he tried to sit, he just gave up and went to laying down. Like, pretty much melted to the floor. Bro, he's old. He's old. I know. Yeah, that was my, yeah. my thing. Social media? What's it called? 
that's this morning, bro. I would eat, like, for the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll be getting the notification in the morning round. Right. Uh, no, that's my flux. You know the, the screen when it turns like yellow? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Did he lose weight? No, actually, they're both really fat. Oh, really? <laughs> I've been trying to, like, get him to lose weight. Like, like, the skin and stuff, you know? Yeah. He's been tearing up toys. I mean, just, this is what we do all day. Don't bite me. I will mess you up. Uh, uh, so the boys are just chilling at home as well? Yeah, I mean, you know, for the most part, like, what else is there to do? Yeah. So, you know, that's been pretty yeah, much it. We're just gonna hang out. You should, you're lucky and you should be happy you get to enjoy your ride rise. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not complaining. I'm actually far from complaining. You, know? you go yourself and you still meet up with your crew. I still meet with him, but we just, you know, we're six feet apart now. Oh, yeah. It's kind of a joke, to be honest. It's like, you know, we don't talk about what we do out there, but you know what we do. And we so see, we change it. some of the activities a little bit, you yes, know. Yes. We just stand apart. We're like, good to see you. How you doing? Fist bumps, gloves, and all that. Somebody has disinfectant. Yeah. I've got the wipes. You know, you got to bring your own food. Um, yeah. We brought. I went on a motor when that one to, that ride to Solvang. I bought. I brought the boys in the truck. And um, it was super cool to have it because, like, when we had, we ended up sitting down to eat lunch, we had to bring our own stuff. We had the bed of the truck to everybody kind of sit in and talk and chill. Oh, had a so great view, you know, like, of a lake. I don't even know what lake it was. Lake Casitas. That's where we was at. Oh, you Solvang? Yeah, uh, Solvang. It was super. It's pretty cool, man. And I'm I'm a little pissed because they had a cookie store that I like to go there. They got these some type of Danish cookies that are amazing. Uh -huh. But yeah. the place is closed, obviously, so we couldn't get it. Yeah. Oh, shit. Hi. You can move it? Oh, no. Mm. How is, uh, mess you up. How's John doing? Is he working still? Is Come on, yeah, he is, you know, doing a couple of different things, but. Yeah, yeah. But is he still, at, like, working? Yeah. Or, yeah. Hey, yes, uh, let me just doing his thing. It's cool to see him. We've been uh, for a while. We were doing the we did the pickup and delivery for the fresh and lean stuff, and um, but now they're taking care of it, so we're good. Oh, what up, Nico? I'm trying to man. We caught the dub on Overwatch last night and then caught took an L. <laughs> man, you know. The only another cool thing is like every, seeing everybody on uh, Xbox. I've been playing Xbox with everybody, right? And you'll get in there and you'll be like, what's up, guys? And everybody, even like complete strangers, like not much, you know, quarantine. <laughs> Everybody's on Xbox right now because ain't nothing else to do.